election result. Let's get the view from a member of President Macron's En Marche party. Veronique Trier-Lenoir is a French MEP. So a convincing victory over his rival Marine Le Pen, but the far right's highest share of the vote thus far. Before we look at the worldview that Macron, his intray that he has, let's focus in on France. Where does he need to focus in on? We saw a, a sea of abstentions. Yes, uh, it is a huge challenge. It is a clear victory, but it is also the challenge to make sure that as much people as possible will be happy with the five coming years. And the main issues are clearly environment, social issues, and in particular, the question of retirement, education, and health. Added to that, is the clear role that France is now fully taking on the European scene. Emmanuel Macron being uh, very much a pro-European leader and being very much aware of the international questions, especially the war in Ukraine. So let's focus in on that, because, of course, where you are in Brussels, uh, a sigh of relief that President Macron was re-elected. How does he move forward then? Well, he has already moved very much during the French presidency of the European Council by uh, having clear positions in favour of helping Ukraine, having sanctions against Russia, while still keeping the diplomatic relationship with Vladimir Putin. Vladimir Putin today is a loser of Emmanuel Macron's election because the far right candidate Marine Le Pen would have been a nightmare for the Ukrainians. But nevertheless, we have to keep the relationships with both countries. And I think that Emmanuel Macron has shown his capacity to play fully this role. And what about in terms of the relationship with China? How important and how does he ensure that the EU continues to be a major geopolitical block within the world when it comes to the increase in China's uh, power, in, in when it comes to in, the increase in its uh, financial power, it's, it's, it's playing on the world stage, not least when it comes to what is happening in Russia as well. I think that he also wants to keep relationships with uh, China, uh, in particular in terms of trade, because it is important for the French citizens. However, he has also always been very tough on the defense of human rights and has given many alerts and concerns towards uh, the Chinese government uh, regarding the question of the Uyghur, for instance. And, of course, when we look back at the situation more closely to France itself, we've got the legislative elections coming up next. He's got to choose a prime minister. What's your thinking? What direction does the new, the, well, the re-elected president go in? The direction has to be to leave nobody out of the French dynamic and to make sure that as many people as possible will be, if not, will be happy in this country, which are not right now. So it's talking about social issues, education, health, and of course, environment, which is very dear to uh, the, the heart of the youth in this country. Veronique Trier-Lenoir, a member of On Marche MEP in Brussels, thank you very much for your time. A lot more analysis, of course, to the uh, presidential election result on our website as well.